Okay. Hey everybody, and this is Aphrodite Witch 1-2. So, I have to get used to the name still, so forgive me. But, so the lighting in here changed because I just turned my makeup table lamp on. So, okay. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the tools that I use in witchcraft, either daily or during rituals. So, these are just the popular tools that I use all the time. So, here we go. Well, okay. Two, I do not use all the time. Okay, so the first one I will talk about is the cauldron. Mine's very... <laughs> it smells so good because I burn stuff in it. Oh, I love the cauldron. It's probably my second favorite tool. Um, we usually use these either for creating fires, lighting pieces of paper on fire. My favorite thing to do in rituals is setting... Either a copy of your spell on fire or writing things down, like relinquishing it into the air, into the universe, and just setting those on fire. It's my favorite part. Um, I just love fire. It's probably because I'm a Leo and I'm fire. Um, but this is mainly what I use that for. If I'm going to be lighting incense, I either use my mortar and pestle because it's stone and it holds heat really well. Or my other cauldron that's, um, it's actually, like, hidden away somewhere. I think it's in my cabinet. But I do not want to go out of my video and get that right now. But I either use that one because it has legs and it it holds heat very well, too. But I usually put sand in there, so helps it. I'm, like, so, like, out of breath. Okay, so those are two tools. And this one I didn't even tell you all about um but oh i thought the price is gonna be still on it but i got this modern pesto from my co-op in lacrosse so it only cost me like thirty dollars and online literally if you buy one this tiny it'll cost you thirty dollars and that's that's why i went to my co-op and i got this it's huge it's heavy Feels like it should weigh, cost 100 and something dollars, but it doesn't. And see, it's marble and it's so beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. It crushes herbs so well. It's because it's marble. You can literally crush anything in here. I love it to death. It's my favorite tool. Okay. All of these are my favorite tools. I'll just say that because I'm going to keep repeating these are my favorite tools. So... The next ones are everybody's favorite in the craft. It doesn't matter if you're new, if you're not even in the craft. You use this daily. These daily. Candles. These two are the ones I've made. This is my sandalwood candle, and it's like reddish because of sandalwood. Um, and then this is just my regular one um, with white rose petals in it. It's... <sighs> oh my god, a breath, and I don't know why. Oh my god, okay. So there are many different correspondences with the colors of candles and with anything. It's mostly of how you feel how they are. Um, I have way different perception, perceptions of the pentacle, like with associations with the elements, than other people. Um, or most people do this, but other people go random. Sorry. <sighs> Told you I'm going to yawn. Okay. So, like I said, candles are popular anywhere, any religion, any life. People use candles daily everywhere you can literally go, you'll find a candle. But, in the craft, candles are like a, a light to let spirits know what you're doing. It pretty much allows them to follow, come towards you. Especially during a sound ritual, we light can candles to allow our ancestors or spirits we are communi communicating with to come towards us and help celebrate it. So, like I said, there are many different things that you use candles for. Love, protection, balancing, balancing your life out, um, relinquishing evil spirits, you know, everything, even the colors are different with everybody else. Like, red might be for protection, but most people it's for love. You know what I mean? It's like when you go on the craft, you build your own path. 
You say it with everything you want in your life to make it feel right for you. Not for anyone around you. Not for so you can please other witches on YouTube. No, it's your path. You create it. You pretty much make it your own. And, yeah. Okay, we're done with candles right now. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. Um, this is another tool that I hardly ever use because I don't do big celebrations. I actually hardly celebrate the Sabbaths because if I do, it's with family and it's just traditional. But uh, the chalice. This is a new chalice that I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And it's amazing. I love it because it's purple. And I use these usually for cider because or water. Like with offerings with the God and Goddess. Um <sighs> Some people use wine, some people use alcohol. I do not drink, so it's either just apple cider or water in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's usually what it's used for. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't use it that much because I don't do that many celebrations. And then, <sighs> this is my weed. <laughs> okay, it's not really my weed. Okay, it's incense. This is You'll probably find every witch you know using incense because it's so, it magnifies the ritual like a whole bunch. So with the smell, it pretty much brings the ritual to life. It's like if you weren't lighting an incense and you were doing a spell or even meditating, it literally brings your uh, mental state up and you can focus better. It depending on the incense. My favorite incense of all time is sandalwood. Um, I actually don't have any right now because I don't have enough money to go to, okay, I have enough money, but it's too far away. I don't have witchy shops with me and I don't have any money. I'm, okay, I'm not going to explain myself in this video. Let's just get to the tools. So, yes, incense. There we go. Okay, here's another one. This is one of my goddesses, Bass, and she's the feline goddess, and this is... My favorite goddess, other than Aphrodite, of course. Um, but I pray to her all the time. I got into Bass because of Prue. Having Prue in my life has changed my path so much. It actually got me into the path. I'm, oh, I wonder if Prue's the actual person that got me into the craft. You know, like, the thing, extra push. Um, you never know. Okay, moving on. Oh my god, I didn't even explain what the thing to buy. Okay. Statues or clay sculptures of any deity that you have on your altar. It's pretty much like a Jesus shrine, you know? How they have statues of the Mother Teresa. I don't know. I'm not Christian and I don't know anything about them. Except for the hatred towards witches. That's the only thing I know. And... You know, you just use it to worship and have something, like, you can see, and they're right there, and you can just, like, talk to them. Like, I always talk to bass. It's crazy. But, it's pretty much just something that you can help communicate with and visualize better. And now, on to the altar bell.